Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Ranjira Chani of Streaming on the Steady Beast. So in today's video, we're gonna discuss the Bresenheim line drawing algorithm. Uh, not the algorithm, uh, but we will be solving a problem based on this. So in my previous two videos for Bresenheim line drawing algorithm, I discussed regarding the concepts and the algorithm. So this problem would be solely based on uh, the algorithm that we have discussed in the previous video. So uh, let's get started. So First of all, we have given two points uh, that is P1, P2, that is point 0.1 uh, coordinates are 100, 100 and point 0.2 uh, that is 200, 140. So according to step 1, we will extract x1, x2, y1, y2. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So x1 is 100, y1 is 100, x2 is 200 and y2 is 140. Next, we will calculate dx and dy. So dx formula is mod of x2 minus x1 and uh, dy is mod of y2 minus y1. So it will be mod of 200 minus 100 that is 100 and dy would be 140 minus 100 that is 40. Next we have to calculate the initial decision parameters that is p in it that is p of 2 p is equal to 2 dy minus dx which is 2 into 40 minus 100 and this value comes out to be minus 20 and so this value is less than or equal to 0. This is uh, less than 0. Next uh, we have to see whether x is greater x1 or x2 which is bigger. So since x2 is greater than x1 we initialize x is equal to x1, y is equal to y1 and x end is equal to x2. So which is equal to 200 and for the fifth step, we plot the pixel at plot at x comma y. So what is x? 100 and it is 100. So we will be doing the plotting part uh, after we calculate all the six pixels. And so I forgot to mention, we have to calculate first six pixels like we did for other problems uh, for this problem also. So uh, we have to calculate the first six pixels. So since uh, at step five, we got the very first pixel, we have to calculate uh, four more pixels, five more pixels uh, by using step six, seven, and eight. So uh, next we uh, move on to calculating. That is, we have at the sixth step we have to increment in each step. That is, x is equal to x plus one. So x would be hundred plus one. That is hundred and one. So x is equal to x plus one, which is equal to hundred and one. It was hundred here, so now it will be hundred and one. And step 7 would be comparing this p-value. Since this p-value is less than or equal to 20, we would not be incrementing y, but we would be keeping y as 100. And we would be calculating p as p is equal to p plus 2 dy. So it would be p, or, uh, p was minus 20, that is the earlier one, p plus 2 into dy. So dy that is we have 2 into 40 that is this one. So it would be 80 minus 20 that is 60. Now in this case p is greater than 0. Greater than or equal to 0. Next we have to plot this pixel at plot at x comma y. So our new x is 101 and y remains as 100. So we got the second uh, pixels. Next we have to repeat these steps. Step 9 says that repeat steps 6, 7 and 8 till you reach x greater than x end. So now step 6 is to increment x that is x would be 102 and step 7 since our p was greater than 0 that it was 60 we increment y to uh, that is y is equal to y plus 1. So it would be 101 in this case and p is equal to 2 times p is equal to p plus 2 dy minus dx. So it would be p was 60 plus 2 into dy. Uh, dy was our dy is 40 minus 100 that is minus 60. So it would be 60 minus uh, 120. So uh, we get the value as minus 60. Okay, so this value is again less than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 0. And next uh, we plot the pixel at 
plot at x comma y that is at 102 and 101 we got the third pixel also next we have to calculate three more pixels by using step 6, 7 and 8 so now uh, step 6 would be again incrementing x by x plus 1 that is 103 and since now it is less than 0 we would not be incrementing y but we will keep it as it is and plotting p is equal to p plus 2 dy like we did in this case so it would be minus 60 that is this p and plus 2 dy was our 40 yeah so it would be uh, 20 again so uh, now you have to plot this pixel now it is greater than p is greater than 0 uh, we would just be writing this in brackets so in our next step we could calculate it easily so plot it we have to plot it 103 and 101 so we have got the fourth pixel also and this would be yeah uh, this was step 6 and this is step 7 this would also come in this then step 8 step 8 is actually you have to plot this yeah, this is step 8 and we have to calculate again uh, since we have calculated 4 pixels 2 more pixels are left now we have to increment x by x plus 1 and y in this case it was greater than 0 so this is step 6 and step 7 would be y is equal to y plus 1 that is 102 and that is we have p is equal to p plus 2 dy minus dx so it would be that is you have 20 plus 2 dy or dy was 40 minus 100 so it would be 20 plus minus 60 yeah uh, this is minus 60 into 2 so uh, the value comes out to be minus 100 and now this is p is less than or equal to 0 yeah uh, and so we will plot this that is plot at we have to plot at x y so it would be 104 and 102 now uh, one more step is left that is we have calculated 5 pixels till now so uh, final pixel calculation is left so now here we have p less than 0 so in this step 6 we would be incrementing that is we have x as 105 here and step 7 we would be not incrementing so it would be y is equal to 102 itself and uh, we have it is p is equal to p plus 2 dy and p is our minus 100 and plus 2 dy that is 40 and it would be minus 20 in this case and finally at step 8 we would be plotting this pixel at x comma y that is 102 and 104 100 and 105 and 102 so uh, this we calculate these six pixels now we have to plot this pixel uh, in the x y coordinate so for that we have this graph here so it is so it goes from 100 to 101 102 then you have 103, 104 and 105 and similarly you have here that is this would be 100, 101, 102, 103, 104 and 105. Yeah. So uh, we have the very first value now we would be plotting this pixels so the very first value was at 100 100 so we would be lighting up this pixel that is at 100 100 next value we have at uh, again plot the pixel at 101 and 100 so it would come here next we have at 102 and 101 so 102 and 101 Next we have at 103 and 101. Next we have 104 and 102. 104 and 102. 
and finally we have at 105 and 102. So this is our uh, x coordinate and this is our y coordinate. So this was all about uh, we have solved a problem uh, based on the Brescian line drawing algorithm. So hope you enjoyed this video. Found this video helpful. Please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.